When Pat McAfee made the big announcement just a few days ago that him and his entire crew at the Pat McAfee show were officially moving over to ESPN. The rumors were true. The reports were true. This is official. I'd imagine he was expecting some pushback, some backlash, but nowhere near the amount that he's gotten. And every step along the way, he's kind of continued to make it worse. The first day we saw that, their big announcement, the biggest move in the Pat McAfee show history gets completely ratioed by his audience. 37,000 dislikes to 18,000 likes. All you had to do is check out the comment section. We looked at that the other day. Well, in response to that, instead of one, either just keep and going, keep continuing on, proving to everybody that you will be the same Pat McAfee show that everyone expects, despite going to ESPN, the people who will censor you, the people who will try to cancel you, the people who will try to control how you speak. They've done it time and time again. They will do it with Pat McAfee. Instead of acknowledging that maybe some of those concerns are valid, instead, Pat McAfee decided to kind of lecture the audience and, hey, man, you know, you should really have some more faith in us. We don't, there shouldn't be a problem with us going to woke ESPN. There shouldn't be a problem with us doing something that we said would never, ever happen. Yet here we are, and it just continues to get worse. Pat McAfee somehow surprised his audience didn't approve of move to ESPN. Some of the things that are said are very, very rude. Pat Mac- Pat McAfee's talking about being rude. Pat McAfee couldn't foresee his audience hating the move to ESPN. Really? As McAfee's show transitions to becoming part of the worldwide leader in Woke, the ex-NFL player wonders why so many people are mad at the move. After all, for a show that prides itself in saying whatever the fuck they want on radio, perhaps moving on one of the most censored platforms in sports doesn't come off as the brightest idea, but money talks. And let's just take a look at some of the ratios that we've seen. Here's the past two live streams. This is on the 17th, the day after that announcement ratioed almost 10,000 dislikes to over 5,000 likes what about the day after again even a worse 10,000 dislikes to 4.3 thousand likes this is bad and this is not going away everyone is saying the same thing r.i.p the pat mcafee show it was good while it lasted how could you go to espn of all places they're not gonna let you do whatever you want to do but one of the worst videos was his response his response to his fans who criticized him him saying that you really shouldn't be worried you shouldn't worry about this. Look at me. Look at everything I've done. Why would you worry about me going to ESPN? Well, how did that work out for them? 18,000 dislikes to 15,000 likes. This is a problem for Pat McAfee. Um, It's been tough going over the mentions, McAfee said. It's been tough out there. I didn't think I expected that. That was a miscalculation. I think the reason I didn't expect it is because it didn't even cross my mind. I feel like our people are the ones who are most mad. Yes, Your fans were mad at this because of the way you've built this brand, because of how you've pushed back against ESPN in the past. Of course, they're going to be upset that the guy they went to to avoid the mainstream, the guy that would say anything, do anything, bring on anyone at any time, unfiltered, uncensored, is now going to have to abide by the rules of ESPN. And Pat McAfee has claimed over and over again that they're going to let him do what he wants, not going to change the show. I believe, I actually believe Pat McAfee might think that that's true. Right, that he thinks that that might be the case. But I can guarantee to you the first time somebody says something controversial, the first time Aaron Rodgers comes on the show and says something about the vax, ESPN will crack down. They will change this show. They've already admitted they're changing the language that will be used. So let's not pretend like they're not changing anything. I feel like our people are the ones that were the most mad. It's like, hey, we have a good history, do we not? I don't know, I guess not. Some of the things that are being said are very, very rude. Well, there's a reason people are mad. It's not just, oh, well, they're upset about change. No, they're mad because this goes against everything that Pat McAfee had built the show on. And people are reminding him of that. Uh, Someone's like, the internet, Pat McAfee says, the internet is awesome and tweets out a clip yesterday. Someone says, yes, it is indeed. And pulls up this from two years ago. You could see how ESPN would be like, we don't want to get this confused here that you're still working with us as this whole thing, as our people are going over there. So I think that's a little bit of a difference because our show was never a ESPN show, never fucking will be. And that's just one of a lot of times where he's mentioned in the past that this show will never be on ESPN, blah, blah, blah. Well, this is the reason that people are upset because they feel betrayed. Your audience feels betrayed. And good for Pat McAfee, but he got a, he's getting a lot of fucking money. All those guys there are getting a lot of money. That's great for them, great for their families, great for their legacy, all that stuff. But in terms of the show itself, of course, people are going to be upset. They feel like there's no way that this thing can be the thing that they love. 
while on ESPN. Pat McAfee has said, we're looking to change ESPN. They're looking to change the way sports media is done. Hey, if he does that, he's going to get a ton of credit. And a lot of people that are upset right now uh, might come back around. But as it goes right now, even in his members only streams, he's getting wrecked constantly throughout the entire stream right now. The ratios continue to be bad. The comment section continues to destroy Pat McAfee for this decision. What do you guys think? What do you think of his reaction? You know, instead of maybe taking it a little more seriously, some of those concerns that his longtime fans and viewers have had, instead, he kind of gets upset at the way his audience has reacted. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.